All right, it's time to do some temperature tests on the graphics card. Welcome to Simple Run. On this episode, I'll be comparing the temperature difference between um, running your air-cooled graphics card vertically compared to horizontally. Now, I think this case is a really good tester for it because the underneath is completely opened to allow air to come up, which is really good for the horizontal, but it might be helpful for the vertical. Now, as you can see, idle-wise, the fans aren't even running on the graphics card. So that means that when it's not used, it's really staying at, you know, a really good temperature to not even kick those on. Now, before I get into too many details, don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. I will be uh, going through and doing one more video on this case to kind of do the custom look. Um, as you've probably guessed, I'm doing a Witcher theme, and I really haven't dug into much of that outside of the red and black color combo. Now back to the test. What I, since I've already done the vertical test, I need to put this in horizontal and give that a go. What I'm doing is I'm running Unigen Heaven, or Unengine, or however you say it, and I'm running the benchmark on it basically two times through. And what that's doing is it's putting it up to 100% load and really kicking those temperatures up. And it should give me a good reference of kind of your temperature difference between the two. Now, I've heard a lot that the vertical doesn't run as well temperature wise, but really how big of a difference there is, I don't know yet. And I kind of want to test it myself. Now, understand that I'm not able to fully control, you know, what the temperature is in my room. So giving that idle temp kind of gives an idea of, you know, where it's starting at and where we're running at from there. Now, there shouldn't be a, a drastic temperature difference in my room when I'm running these tests, but you know, it's not saying that there's not gonna be a couple degrees difference. I guess from here, I need to go through, put it in the horizontal, give it that test, and when I, you see me again, it'll be results time. Not as usual. That did not go as planned. Um, I guess on the bright side, horizontally, it stays at you know ambient temperature. Sadly, that's because you cannot hook this graphics card in horizontally, in this case, with this AIO. I can't tell you if this is gonna be an issue with every 240 AIO you put in this case of just not allowing you to have a graphics card this long, but definitely be prepared to buy the vertical cable from Fantex because it does not fit. There is no way to connect this graphics card in this case horizontally. Now that is because at the end here, you completely hit AIO. It is just, there's no way to fit that. Now, maybe with the slimmer setup, but the problem is, is no matter what, you're going to have your radiator down that low and you're probably going to run into this issue. Unless there's something I missed during installation that would have allowed this, I'm going to go with it's just not possible. However, I will go with basically what I've seen on the vertical. Now, vertically, that idle was 28C and the fans don't even turn on. It just sits there idle. Now, after running it at 100% through two benchmarks, uh, the GPU itself peaked at 70C, the memory hit 74C, and the hotspot hit 83C. And that is the max of what I've seen vertically. Now, I'm going to say that that's runnable. It's a little hotter than what you're going to see in uh, some situations when you're liquid cooling, but definitely in the realm of acceptable and should allow you to game. Um, I can't say what that's going to look like after gaming for four hours, but that's really going to depend on if you're actually pegging your GPU at 100% use for those hours. But for right now, this case is going back in vertical mode. Um, sorry I couldn't get the results to really compare the two. Uh, maybe I'll have to try that down the road with a well, a case that's better suited for that option. 
And as always, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like below. Um, I still got a lot of work on this uh, case to get it up to the Witcher theme. Um, so stay tuned. Thank you.